Windows 10, compared to its predecessors, is a more successful, better and faster operating system. Like every Windows operating system, it slows over time. For some computers, it's already slow, most likely due to unsuitable hardware. We can overcome this by maintaining our operating system through tweaks and optimizations. We can tweak our system to make it work well with our hardware and maintain speed, or to satisfy that feeling where you want to have a faster operating system just to stay sane. This video includes all the possible information you seek and will guide you into speeding up Windows 10 with a variety of options to choose from. During the video, I'll be sure to explain each and every step for you to decide whether you would like to change something or not. Now, let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is deal with the visual effects on Windows 10. These effects consist of fade-ins such as the one that you just saw when I opened File Explorer. When you minimize, it fades back into this icon on the taskbar. When you maximize and minimize, it shows you this uh, effect as well, even when you close. And when you right-click, you see this smooth uh, uh, opening. Now we're going to disable or enable or keep a couple of animations. First thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on the start menu, system, advanced system settings, and settings on the performance, and this window will pop up. Now the first option is about when you hover your mouse over a button or these circles here, you can see that there's a color fading in. When you disable this effect, it will cause this effect to not show anymore. It will only instantly show you the color. The second option we explained earlier. Third option is self-explanatory. Enable peak. What is peak? Peak is an option that shows you a preview of whatever, uh, uh, as you can see right now, you see how these uh, windows uh, disappear? They fade out. This is a feature of peak. When you disable it, it will, it won't fade these away. Same thing when you alt tab, not working with me right now, but uh, you will notice the difference later on. The rest are all self-explanatory except for one thing here, where is it? This one here. Show thumbnails instead of icons. If you disable this, it will reduce a massive amount of load from your CPU or graphics driver since it's showing you all these graphics when you open a folder filled with images. Yes, folks, this is what it does. It shows you thumbnails of a picture instead of the icon of a picture or video. Now, in my case, I prefer that you keep this enabled, smooth scroll list boxes. This especially, if you keep this disabled, it will make the text all pixely and it might hurt your eyes. Show window contents while dragging and enable peak. These are my favorite options for Windows 10. Now, as I described earlier about the first option, look here. As you can see, it does not fade into the color, it immediately shows you the color. In the second part of the video, we are going to disable a couple of services. Now, Microsoft did a really good job optimizing Windows 10 with its services compared to Windows 7 and Windows 8 and the previous versions of Windows. In this uh, part, we're going to be disabling only a little amount of services since, well, Microsoft did an amazing job. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to search for services. Now open it up. And the first service that we're going to disable is called distributed, where is it? Distributed link tracking client. This is, to be honest, um, not so useful 
as you can see in the description, it says maintains links between NTFS files within a computer across or across computers in the network. Set this to disabled. Second option will be the geolocation service. Now it's, it depends entirely on you if whether if you want to disable or keep this enabled. Since it's useful for a couple of apps such as maps that use your uh, geographical area. Anything that needs to know your location. Since it's on manual you can keep it the way it is or set it to disabled. Now the third service is going to be IP helper. Now um, we're not really into IPv6 technology yet so for the moment you can keep it disabled. All these options here I'm pretty sure you guys don't use them. Unless you fear that maybe tomorrow they will start using IPv6. Keep the service automatic. It all depends on you. Disabling any of these services is completely optional since Microsoft did an amazing job. Now the, th the other service is going to be Print Spooler. This service is very useful and important for people who use printers. If you disable the service and you have a printer, you won't be able to use your printer. If you don't have a printer and you don't plan on getting one, go ahead and disable it. It's very good if you disable something that you don't use. Last but not least, server. Now, I recommend that if you work at an office, if you're using an office computer or a laptop to work, do not disable this because the IT technician, if you call him and you can't access some kind of uh, file storage from the workplace servers they're gonna be really pissed at you so this service helps you um, do remote functions over the network so you can share things between each other if you don't uh, really like use this stuff in your house go ahead and disable it cause well you know it's good to disable it <laughs> This third part of the video will be about removing drivers that we don't need. This is a very risky section of this tutorial. So it's advised that if you are, if you don't know what you're doing, then please skip this section because I do not want you guys commenting on the video telling me, Hey, you asshole, you destroyed my computer. It's not working more. Blah, 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 black screen. Yeah. So if you are completely not confident into removing any drivers because really this can go bad and you might have to reformat your computer for it now if you're gonna continue i want you to first right click on the start menu and choose device manager where is it there it is now let's say you have an old pc that you upgraded to windows 10 you might have floppy drives installed that you don't use. Maybe you have uh, Firewire ports and drivers installed that you don't use. Come on, man. Firewire is so old. So in order to like improve a, cup, a bit of the system resources, you are going to have to disable or remove a couple of these drivers. Now, in my case, I don't really know what I have to remove. Maybe, let's say, Bluetooth. Oh, I already removed Bluetooth, it seems. Look for something that you don't use. Expand all these. Yeah, as you can see here, I have a printer port, which I don't really use. So I could go ahead and install it. There we go. Oh, and one important thing, open up your driver, go to properties, policies, and make sure that you have enable write caching on the device and check this also. Now, if you have power outages that are common, 
do not turn this on. If it's not common or you have a laptop, go ahead and turn it on because this will help significantly improve read and writing speeds of your hard drive, meaning you can do a lot of uh, writing or reading operations at the same time. For this section of the tutorial, we will be discussing about the power options. Now, if you're a laptop user, you're going to have this icon here. If you're a PC user, I'm not sure if you're going to have an icon like this here. If you don't, you can go ahead and search for power options here. Now, right-click on your power option, power thingy, whatever. Go for power options, and as a PC user, as we said before, search for it and open it up. You're going to notice three built-in options. The last option here, which is hidden, is called high performance. What this does is it makes all your hardware work 100% completely, and it will take a lot of energy from you as well. So if you're having a laptop that you frequently use to be portable, like go to a coffee shop or something, it's uh, recommended that you keep changing the options over and over and over from high performance to balance so you won't lose a lot of power. Now set it to high performance and well that's pretty much it enjoy your boost this last section is optional completely i like to include this method because it's very nice for people to know that they can get customized things on their taskbars now most of you might be from windows xp maybe you migrate to Windows 10 and maybe you miss something there's something different right where are the shortcuts these little shortcuts that come out here well maybe you want them back right if you do that's great you can easily restore that function on Windows 10 without even downloading any software now to do this what I like to do is open up the start menu and go to File Explorer, Documents, and in here I like to make a new folder called Toolbar. In this toolbar, I get my applications, my favorite applications. Let's say, for example, um, okay, we're gonna have to make some shortcuts. Shit, I have nothing. Hold on, guys, sorry. Okay, let's make a shortcut from here. Okay. So I put all my shortcuts in here, and then I right-click on the taskbar, toolbars, new toolbar. I select this folder. Then I right click, unlock the taskbar if it's locked, show text, show title. Congratulations, your old amazing feature is back. Another thing up on the start menu or taskbar, you see this long search? Look at how it's taking all the space, like, come on, Microsoft, really? So what I like to do is show a search icon instead. Simply I click on it and I type. Or even better, I can go ahead and hide it, go here, and type whatever I want. See? Now the last thing I would like to talk about is maintaining your system. Making sure it won't slow over time by a lot, reducing it by a lot as well. Now, I want you guys to know that there is a built-in cleaner in your operating system. Microsoft has this feature since Windows XP. You simply right-click on your hard disk, 
go to properties and choose this cleanup this will remove all the things that the, the garbage that Windows 10 makes whatever it makes that's not useful for you it can easily be cleaned through uh, using this built-in option you don't have to go get a cleaner from the internet to do all this stuff you know so it's very useful for you to use the built-in features and another thing I want to talk about is defragging your hard drive now also there is a tool already built in which you can use to defrag your computer simply do this analyze check for fragmentation after it's done optimize and there you go very simple and a note guys please 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 do not i repeat do not use registry cleaners even from the products you trust whatever they're all a sham instead guess what they do they fuck your computer up literally okay guys please avoid registry cleaners and a mention for a couple of nice programs that you can get if you don't like the built-in ones you can go to periform.com they have very good tools that you can use such as CCleaner and Defragler. Now when you use CCleaner do not use the registry cleaner there as well please. Believe me it will screw your computer up. It happened to me so many times Windows went all weird and I had to reformat it literally. And last program is PC Decrapifier. This program here is, well, it shows you which programs that are useful, useless for you to have. It will check all the junk, all the bloatware, all the pre-installed programs that came with your laptop or PC, and it will tell you which ones you should remove. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and please don't hesitate to comment, discuss anything with me, I will try my best to help you guys out if you have any issues.